Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to start today off with a reaction video to the latest from K Click, a Malaysian rap group who I was lucky enough to find a little over a year ago by patrolling online, just scouting things out. I found Hi everybody, a guy welcome back to my Sally TV. So we're back with some more rap, rap music from, from that area. Malaysia. So I checked out a whole bunch of them. K Click was the one I definitely liked the most. So I started checking out all their the songs. I'll be honest, I think the Americans have to pay attention the because these songs are as well produced and the videos are as well made as anything that we're making here. You can't sleep on anyone. Global economy, a global market, hip hop is a global music. I love listening to rap groups from around the world speaking their truths and representing what they are all about. So I'm excited uh, about this new K-Click song. So far, my two favorite songs by them are Lane, Lane, Lime, and Mimpy. Uh, I also like Beg to Back a lot. That's my favorite. I, I all three have great videos. So check it out right now. Never heard of them. I'm happy to introduce you to them. This is K-Click with Murray. of Travis Scott on the beat, the production, the filters. It's obvious that he's one of the most popular artists, not just in America, but around the world by hearing how he's influenced K-Click here. This sounds amazing. And here's the thing. I don't speak Malaysian. I don't know a word of it. Every now and then, K-Click will throw in an English phrase or two just to appeal, I think, to the American audience. But it kind of proves that you don't have to know what these rappers are saying for you to enjoy their music. There are a lot of rap songs where I don't know all the words and they're in English. For a long time, the Jamaican style of rap was very popular. Reggaeton is very popular. I listen to rap music in all different languages. In a way, it helps you learn the language if you have a little bit of a foothold in it, like Spanish. I know French pretty well, so I can understand MC Solar. I can understand the Orishas when I listen to them. The point is, I'm a beat fiend. So if you put down a good beat, I'm going to listen to your song. Harus bahaya antara siapa boleh dapat cantas Pergerakan pantas, gerak tempur dari bawah tiada pintas Rendah diri ke bawah impian ku terbang ke atas Kesan lepas tak boleh wayo Ku naik ke atas takkan ku lepas lagi bernafas Kau tak ku lepas kerja ku keras insyaAllah Rezeki ku luas aku definisi hasil bukti dari bermimpi Flex, cita-cita ku tinggi Sampai mati aku dah kira Through the flock of flow He's frame right there looking like the Joker it's just interesting to see what things influence the rest of the world uh, as far as American culture is concerned. It's clear that it's not just the music, but the video style, the, the elements of the video, the cars, the women, the stacks of money. Those are all things that seem to play in other markets as well if K-Click's going to do something like this. Cause I don't think that they're doing this to appeal to the American market because most Americans aren't going to be that adventurous and listen to rap in another language. 
However, there is a market for making these beats, being successful in your home country, and then selling the beats for remixes in America with known American artists. And Jay-Z was the first guy that I can think of to really capitalize on that, but he wasn't the only one. The Numa Numa song was taken by T.I. and Rihanna for Live Your Life. The first one I always think of is was when Jay-Z took the Panjami MC song and just ran with it. The, f the fact is that American rappers and American music labels are always looking for good beats, and it's less expensive for them to buy the rights to a song that's already been made than to make it themselves, especially if they know it's a hit in another region. That's something that K-Click could choose to do if they haven't done it already. I've seen Japanese rappers do it. If you make a good song and it's popular in your market and people think it has a crossover potential in America, the American record labels will take notice and they will be calling you. Let's keep going here. I will kind of sing along in my head or on my own if I'm jamming out to this on my headphones while I'm walking around. I'll, I'll mouth the words even though I have no idea what they're saying. I hope they're not saying anything bad. You know, I, I hope that, <laughs> that there isn't any seriously messed up message behind this. I doubt there is. Yeah, this music is so infectious. This, this beat is so good. First of all, I definitely want to rap over the instrumental of the song. Second of all, you give them props. If you if you can get someone hooked to a song that they don't understand a word of, you've done a good job. Who can steal the type? In any case, call me here to bend the wall. Straight up, in the fakta, bukan auta. In the click, bukan one hit, one da. Jaga kata, dengan tata, dalam kota, jaga takta. Guna minda, jangan cuba, kami OD, dengan fakta. Satu langkah, semua arah, macam kami, buah raja. Dalam sin. Koran slow Kami macam fast forward Koran slow Yeah for real Tak perlukan kemo Watak kami utama Koran kemo Ipak ni macam etong Bertahun asal tanpa melancong Kami mendaki tak minta gendong Sekarang kau tadi kami dukong Siapa kosong Fikir ku badut silakan pancong Kepala gantong Riwayat keramat kikayat kandong Berapa banyak hit? Kenapa tak nampak di dalam carta? Kayo berhit Itu pun cara main terasa apa? Jini unik Melangkah jauh lebih kuasa kuda Aku tiada limit Tengok borak di siapa nyala Masih bawa tanah Siapa bilang kita tinggal lupakan sejarah lama Bagaimanapun bencana tetap lencana yang sama Eyo, eyo Hold on, hold on Maklumat, mana maklumat Berapa kerat, apa syarat untuk jerat Lumat, kalau nak sihat, ambil nasihat Tak kau matlamat, kau tamat, mati bertepat Berluang, ambil peluang Ku luang, masa kau buang Siapa berangan, berangan, apa berang Dalam medan ku serang, tanpa pedang Definisi untuk ego Mematingkan diri Masa untuk... Something else that I like a lot about the K-Click videos Is the fact that they show a lot of things that are local to their culture You have all the tropes of the hip hop videos with the exhaling of the smoke and like I said, the cars, the women, the stacks of money, the gangster setups. But they also have things in these videos that show the local locations, the dress, the culture. That's how they make it their own. That's how they're adding to the game. 
adding to the experience and bringing something original to their music and their videos. Yeah, that's the same tunnel from Lane Lane Line, and that's the same shot, and that's the same horn part. So if you like K Click, check out Lane Lane Line. Uh, that's the first video that I saw that really captured my attention by this band. I I think this might be their best song yet. Honestly, this beat is so good. You you can't tell me that you don't want to hear this beat again. You can't tell me that you don't want to hear an American rapper go over it. I will say that it seems like some languages sound better in rapping than others. I think French is perfect for rapping. I think Spanish is great for rapping. Malaysian is really good, or at least they make it look good. So that's another talent right there. If you make if if you're good enough to make a language seem like it was made for this, then you're doing a good job as artists. Tell me what you thought. Is this the first time you've ever heard of K Click? If so, I'm glad to introduce them to you. Give me some suggestions of things you'd like me to react to if I haven't seen it already, or I'll review it if I have. Thank you very much for your time representing hard work and talent coming to you straight from New York City. I am Sean the Storm Grant, hashtag Storm Pinball. Feel free to contact me on IG or Twitter, hashtag Storm Pinball. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.